I've been traveling every day for 12 days so far on my northward bound trip. That's a different location every night. And I will be doing a video about some of the places I've stayed for free or for very little. A different place every single night for 12 days. My days are filled with seeing beautiful sights, of course, if you know my channel. Filming and editing videos, social media, and planning the next day's travel. Even on these busy travel days, I still have to keep up with normal everyday errands and tasks that everybody has. Believe me, this schedule doesn't leave time for shopping, prepping, and cooking. On days like this, it's way too easy to grab some restaurant food, but that's not good for your budget or your health, you know. I have looked into several brands of prepared camping meals to save time, but they're full of salt and they're expensive. I'd really rather have fresh vegetables, of course, but I'll leave that to when I'm in a cabin or camping in one place for a day or two, which doesn't happen very often. I bought a Harmony House backpacking kit. It has 70 servings of freeze-dried food. These are not seasoned, so if you have a package of tomatoes or peas, the only ingredient is tomatoes or peas. From what I've read, they do retain more of the nutritional value than their canned or frozen counterparts, but of course, fresh is always better if you've got the time and the space and the refrigeration and a place to throw out the garbage of all the peelings and so forth. You can make your own recipes with these ingredients and cook them in a hot logic or a 12-volt rice cooker while you're driving down a scenic highway and have dinner ready when you get to the next destination and not be tempted to go through a drive through I think that's going to help me out some so far, everything I've tried has been good, and the texture is fresh when they're rehydrated. Of course, this food does last longer and takes up less space than fresh, frozen, or canned food. Seems to me the ideal use of these products is in soups, sauces, and chili. They have a lot of variety for making your own time-saving recipes. But this is just one option. It's not your only food plan. I want to show you some things that I use and you might like for camping and travel. All of these are lightweight, time-saving, and space-saving. I'll also give you a gadget tour of my cooking options and lights. I want you to know I'm not sponsored on any of these items and I paid full price, so this is just my honest opinion of these. But I do have Amazon affiliate links below. So I want to show you what all I got. First for cocoa, Grass-fed beef recipe, freeze-dried raw, dog food. Now let's see what's in this one. 70 servings, okay. And here's what was in that package. We have green cabbage, diced potatoes, two packages, diced tomatoes, sweet corn, diced carrots, green peas, bell peppers, white onions, diced carrots, two of them, green peas, bell peppers, white onion, green beans, dried uh, sliced celery, green peas, lentils, black beans, northern beans, and red beans. That's quite an assortment there. That's kind of a lot of food too. Doesn't look like much because again that's freeze-dried. It has to be rehydrated. I think I'm gonna be doing that in my brand new rice cooker. Freeze-dried mixed fruits. Oh my goodness. It comes with a bunch of different. There's apple. There's freeze-dried banana, this pear, ooh, pineapple. It wouldn't be a fruit pack without mango. These have an amazing texture. What else we got in here? Oh my goodness, there's one I didn't even see. Freeze-dried strawberry. And there's more. They have two of each in there. This is your standard butane single burner 
camp stove. Use this butane. The Coleman one burner standard. This is a hot logic. I have to say I use it a lot. It is 12 volt and you use a Pyrex glass dish inside of it and then there's a heating pad on the bottom and it it won't burn. You can even cook meat in it, but it does take a long time. It's like a slow cooker. This is a dash cooker. This one is more like a griddle maker. When my mom lived with me, we used to make something called chuffles. They're made with cheese, with the cheese and egg, and they come out like a waffle, and we made those on this one right here. It does cook fast since it cooks on both sides. It's almost like baking. You could put like a, a biscuit over here and it would bake on both sides and all the way through. Rice cooker, this is the new addition. It has handles. It has a steamer there. This is 12 volt. So that is something that I could use inside. This is an electric burner. This I have used inside, but I don't prefer it inside. This is not my most used appliance because it gets red hot if you have it up high. I don't like that in the van. This is a little coffee frother. In essential oil infuser. It is a USB charged. It comes with a quite a few different little flavors, <laughs> essential oils. And here are the lights. This little guy may be my favorite. It is a, it's solar. It has a very nice light with three different levels. It is also a bug zapper. This, I love this lamp. This is not one I would carry around. This is one I would actually go for a walk with because you can aim it. This obviously not, this is decorative, but I, I love having this hanging up. That's a flickering flame, I'm not gonna show. This one has a battery, but it's rechargeable by USB. This is a Luminade. It is very much like, well, it's practically a Lucy light. This one has a very soft light. It lasts a long time. This USB thing, it's supposed to be for a bicycle, but it's very bright, it has, it's adjustable, and I can clip it to the handle right over the door in the minivan. This is a, a cute little light. I can't show it to you now because it, it doesn't have a rechargeable battery. It has to be plugged in to USB. But you can clamp it in various places, and I have two. One is a white reading light, and it's kind of soft. It has a little lens on it that softens the light a little bit. And the other one that's just like this, same company, the other one is a black light for my black light uh, tapestry that goes um, on my hatch. That's an emergency radio. It's also a light. It's also uh, USB charged. It's also solar. And on the back, see this thing on the back? You can wind that to charge it. Emergency radio, flashlight. It's also a power bank. If it's fully charged, you can charge your phone off of it. And, of course, its main purpose, it is an emergency radio. Handy little guy. Outdoors. They are solar lights. They throw a very pretty light because of these uh, glass globes. I put those at the center of each wheel. These I put in front of the wheels, far enough out so that the motion sensor could detect, hopefully, detect a mouse. These are similar, except that they clip on solar lights they could be clipped on but I don't use them that way I set them like this in the back of the wheel at, at enough distance so that hopefully the motion sensor would detect a mouse from coming from either direction so hopefully I have the wheels covered 